Hi, I'm Michael Morris, and in this video presentation, you're going to learn about a secret that has been kept out of the public eyes for over 20 years. Did you know that a regular solar panel has between 15 to 20% efficiency for converting sun energy into electricity? That means 80 to 85% of the potential power is wasted. Back in 1995, Fraunhofer Institute of Solar Energy Systems, ISE, discovered a new type of solar cell called High Efficiency Concentrated Photovoltaic Cell, for short HCPV. It has a fancy name, and that's because it's 500 times more efficient than the silicon-based solar cells. A regular 6-foot solar panel compacted in only half of the inch square. ISE has created highly classified reports, showing that this technology is far superior to regular solar panels. It's cheaper to produce, and it takes a fraction of the space a regular PV panel occupies. The new solar panel technology should have changed the electricity production industry, making it affordable for anyone, producing hundreds of times more electricity than conventional solar panels, the cost per kilowatt per hour dropping to pennies. Instead, the military only had access to this technology, keeping it a secret from the rest of the world. Now, you probably think that's insane to keep this solution covered up, that this will stay in the way of evolution. And you're right, it is absurd. The main reason being money. Technology cover-ups happen everywhere in the industry. The technology you see in cars, phones, and tablets is released 10 years after being produced to keep us, the consumers, buying new versions every year, with some small improvements, giving us little by little access to the technology to spend more on the end product. This old but what appears to be new to us technology has surfaced to me after a tragic event in my life, which happened 20 years ago. This story affected me profoundly, and it changed forever the way I perceived the government's actions. Here's the tale of my family's dark mystery. I'll tell you what I know first, and then I'll tell you how I know. My Uncle Brian was a scrubber for a private company contracted with the U.S. government. His job, or the job of his entire team instead, was to retrieve or destroy secret, top secret, and alleged above top secret data from sunken military vessels including anything from documents, storage drives, cargo, weaponry, dog tags, identification cards, and even corpses. He would also scrub identifying marks on ships, strip indicators of the country of origin, and salvage valuable parts of the craft. His duties were not limited to these, but these are the most exciting and relevant. Brian performed deep sea dives between 1989 and 91, then again from 1995 to 97. We don't know much about his life between those two periods, but we do know that he was stationed at a training facility somewhere in the Arctic Circle, probably Greenland or Canada. During that time, he only visited his home in Arizona for six weeks per year and was forbidden from doing all kinds of things. He was not allowed to purchase office supplies or typewriters, could not spend money at all except with a checkbook issued to him by his employer, could not go into a bank for any reason, could not handle cash, could not go to large gatherings or drink alcohol. They wouldn't even let him smoke cigarettes. He was forbidden to write anything down and, therefore, would never handle a pencil, couldn't talk about his job, and refused to even touch a phone, with one exception. Brian had to call a phone number every six hours, regardless of the time of day. He would wake up in the middle of the night to make the call, which always pissed off his wife. Whenever he made that call, he always spoke casually, as if talking to an old friend, and had conversations that never amounted to more than idle chit-chat. I only heard these calls once in my life, and only in retrospect did I realize that they were heavily coded. What he was saying, we will never know. Even when someone called for Brian, he wouldn't take the phone. He would only touch it or speak if he dialed the number. I've never seen such a paranoid person in my life, but at my young age, I found his behavior harmless and amusing. My uncle mysteriously disappeared in 1999 when I was still a teenager. I had only met him twice in my life. The second time was after he retired. I was too young to remember him the first time we had met, but the second occasion I actually tried to block out, and pretty much have until later in my life. When we visited him for a week in Phoenix, he was glum the entire time. The man was singularly unfriendly and appeared scarcely aware of anything but his private thoughts. He was more pensive and withdrawn than anyone had ever known, as if he'd retreated entirely from this planet and left a functioning body behind. He looked over his shoulder all the time, even on the couch, and always watched the rearview mirror when my mother drove us out to dinner. I remember him continually doing weird things, such as inspecting the light switches in his own home, unscrewing the little plates, and poking around, then putting them back on. He looked up in the air each time he walked outside, as if he expected a brick to fall on his head, or maybe perhaps a helicopter to snap a photo of him. 
He only ever spoke in short and stilted sentences, cautious not to divulge anything that could get him into trouble. Brian seemed like he had the weight of the world on his shoulders and a flood of confessions just behind the dam of his teeth. I found myself wondering about him each night as I tried to fall asleep. One night during that visit, Brian snapped. I don't know what caused it, but he had a massive freakout and started acting like he was on hard drugs. In the middle of a normal conversation on the couch, he started shrieking about how he was sick of all the games and didn't want to be a gerbil anymore. To my mother's horror, he lunged at me and tried to strangle me. He kept screaming to my mother that he was going to twist the head off, show you all the circuits, and went on and on about how there were cameras in my eyes and microphones in my ears. He bit me, and when he saw that I bled, he snapped out of the episode and burst into tears. My mother tried to call 911 from the house, but it wouldn't connect. She frantically dialed the number on his barren fridge, and a woman answered. Mother explained that Brian was acting crazy and said he needed police and an ambulance. The woman told her that she'd phone Brian's doctor immediately and that everyone should sit tight. I refuse to go to the hospital. I suffer from emetophobia, and hospitals make me nauseous. In less than an hour, a man showed up at the door. He called himself Dr. S. The doctor was dressed in ordinary slacks and a button-down shirt and had a clean shave. I remember noticing the roughness of his hands when he shook mine. He was big, but too well-spoken to be some bruiser. I have trouble explaining what I mean, but the plainness of his appearance and the calm of his demeanor felt very menacing to me, like he was about to murder every person in the house, Patrick Bateman style. The thing I remember most about him, however, was that he carried the acrid stench of chemicals, as if he'd been varnishing wood or something. The doctor had a quiet conversation with my uncle on the back patio, and then he politely excused himself and left. He told my mother and me that Brian is going to be fine, that he needs some rest. He said that he ordered a prescription and that we could pick it up for him tomorrow. When my mother asked if it was dangerous to be alone with him, the doctor just laughed and said, Not anymore, I promise. He squeezed my shoulder and walked away. Two things disturbed me about Dr. S.'s visit. The first was that between hello and goodbye, the man wasn't there any longer than four minutes. What could he possibly have said to Brian in that amount of time? And second, when I ran upstairs to watch the doctor drive away, he didn't get into a car. He walked out of the neighborhood. Brian immediately seemed better after his meeting with the doctor. He apologized to me and ate dinner with us. He was in much higher spirits like he'd been relieved of every burden he carried. My mother and I slept in the guest room with the door locked that night simply because we had no idea what to expect from him. Brian was like his precious light switches, on or off, with nothing in between. But in the middle of the night, I woke up to my mother shouting. The house was dark, the patio door was wide open, and Brian was gone. He didn't take anything with him, not his shoes or his checkbook or his watch. His car still sat in the garage and keys on the counter. We tried to call the number on the fridge, but the line was disconnected. The phone wouldn't dial out at all. Early the next morning, a bunch of men showed up to the house. They took all Brian's possessions away in boxes and asked my mother and I a ton of bizarre, nonsensical questions. Things like, did Brian ever tell you his favorite color? What food does he hate the most? Is he good with kids? Did he ever go to church? What is your earliest memory of him? Was he right or left-handed? The interrogation left us baffled. I was confused by all of this, but my mother was downright mortified. No matter what answers she gave, they always doubted her and told her she must be wrong and gave some ridiculous explanation as to why. On the other hand, they never questioned a single thing I said. I still don't understand what the point of all that was. Almost a year later, after the shock of his disappearance began to settle into a dull pain, my mother decided to sell Brian's car. When she did, she stumbled across something strange under the floor of the trunk, tucked into the spare tire. She found a VHS tape and some papers. It was from Brian. He probably left those while we were asleep. We played the tape, and in it, Brian was standing way out in the desert somewhere. He looked a few years younger and appeared to have not slept in days. He described the nature of his work to my mother and some of the things he'd seen and done. I pieced together everything I know about him from this tape and some conversations between my mother and Brian's ex-wife. I haven't seen the tape since we found it, and I'm sure my mother got rid of it as Brian instructed. But here are the things I remember back, the weirdest and scariest things he found while working sunken ships and submarines. Rooms that remained pressurized, where people appeared to live for years after the submarines sank. There was still electricity going on even after a decade. Weird devices which were still functioning without any visible power source. There were also horror stories about all the bodies he recovered, but I'll rather keep this for another time. His job was to recover all the technology from those ships, to avoid being discovered by other divers. Everything had to be bagged and tagged and sent to a secret storage facility. From one of the missions, he recovered multiple devices and documents which appeared to be from electricity power plants. After 10 years, they still generated enough electricity to shock all the small fish around the ship, 
and it kept away the bigger ones. He recovered five of those devices and some documents. He returned just the devices and he kept the papers, risking his life and career. But he felt that there was some special secret and that it was worth the risk. In the years after Brian's disappearance, strange men visited me once in a while, always asking about Brian. They found me in random places and asked random questions. They were still polite, but they never identified themselves. No matter where my mother and I moved, they always found us. Brian's ex-wife Jill once told me, your uncle had brain bubbles and said to me that the crazy things he'd say were the result of brain damage from diving. The mixture of gases, pressure, and tight spaces coupled with stresses of the job could undoubtedly do real harm to a person's mind. But then again, Jill also worked in the government. That's how they met, and after Brian disappeared, she acted like she barely remembered him at all. It was almost as though she wanted me to dismiss him as a nut job. And now that I come to think of it, she always smelled like chemicals too, just like Dr. S. The reason for telling you this story is that in those documents which Brian left behind was written detailed schematics and reports made by ISE, the very same classified reports I told you about at the beginning of the video. This classified information is not available in any public archive even after 20 years. I'm not an engineer by any means, so I showed these plans to a friend of mine, who convinced me to display this video to the entire world. I was a bit afraid at the beginning that the people smelling like chemicals might return, but that was 20 years ago, and I took the right precautions before revealing this video. We got in touch with a company from China. We sent them a copy of the blueprints, and they began producing those cells. Chinese companies do not care about the source of the designs as long as they are making money. Here's how an HCPV cell produced in China looks. The concentrated solar cell alone produces twice more electricity than a regular solar panel. My friend came up with the idea to continue the work on refining the usage of this HCPV cell and transform it into a worldwide phenomenon, so everyone carries the legacy my Uncle Brian left behind. So we continued the work, and after months of research and trying different designs, we were able to build our complete CPV system. I call it Tyranny Liberator. It's a complete self-sustained concentrated power generating system that will work even on cloudy days, and it's smaller than a laptop, making it very portable and easy to install anywhere. You'll be able to power up any household appliances, from lamps and toasters to electricity hogs like refrigerators and AC units. You can even power up a remote cabin in the wilderness and stop worrying about having to pay the electric company $30,000 or more to hook you up to the grid. What's more important, because the Tyranny Liberator is very light and portable, it makes for one of the best emergency generators you could ever wish for. Unlike standard solar panels, it won't get blown off the roof by strong winds and hurricanes. That's because of the innovative, low-profile, and compact design of the HCPV. You can install it in your backyard or your balcony and not worry about weather conditions for one second. It's lightweight and cheap to build, and this is simply amazing. It took us more than two years to refine this design simply because the electricity is being generated just through the day, and we didn't have an affordable solution to store it for the night use. The solution came from the latest technology used in electric cars, which was invented by Tesla company owned by Elon Musk. He recently released the patents of a brand new type of battery array, which uses a multi-cell design. We tried to make sure that people will get access to full working and long-tested solutions, and not just some crazy prototype. Tyranny Liberator is the best thing that you can have in your backyard. It takes less than one day to get it to run, and it allows you to shave more than half on those ever-lingering power bills. I think that my Uncle Brian would be thrilled to know that his sacrifice was not in vain. Using the same simple method I'm going to reveal to you later in this video, Matthew Wells of Essex, Maryland recently sent me a letter saying, In the first 30 days, I saved $180 for my power bill. My bill was $217 per month and my last one was just $37. It's impossible to overstate how much this extra money has made things easier for my family. And Ken McKean of Toledo, Ohio writes, I live in a crowded neighborhood, and you should have seen how the neighbors stared at me as I opened the electricity invoice since using your method. I was cackling like the Wicked Witch of the West out there, but I don't care. The joke's on them, because I got to pay $10 that month from using your solution, instead of $290 that I usually paid. Matthew and Ken are just two of the thousands of people who have written to me over the last year, telling me how thrilled, elated, and even sometimes flabbergasted they are by the simple truth of how easy it is to use the Tyranny Liberator solution, shutting the door in the face of greedy corporations and keeping their families warm and protected. The way this system saves you money is this. Compared with conventional solar panels, the new CPV cells take a fraction of the space. Here's how small a CPV cell is and it generates two times the amount of electricity as a regular solar panel produces. 
you only need one of these cells for your Tyranny Liberator project to work. Plus, you get to store the excess electricity to use for the night. For the electricity storage part, we got inspired by the patents which have been made public by Elon Musk. It uses lithium cells, and they're found in most of the rechargeable electronics. Usually, those arrays are constructed from new cells, which are quite expensive, but we took it a step further, and we found a way to recycle laptop and power tools battery cells, allowing you to tap into a cheap and nearly unlimited supply if you know where to look. Richard, my technical friend, also put together an algorithm that allows hooking this system to the grid, obtaining a hybrid system that will power your entire home. This special algorithm allows you to save 60-70% to 70 of the money you pay on electricity by avoiding peak hours. That's when the electricity gets double or even triple the price compared to with nighttime, when there's not much power usage. What makes the hybrid system so unique is that it will continue working even on cloudy days. The Tyranny Liberator will detect if the weather is cloudy and charge the batteries during nighttime, and then the next day provides the needed electricity during peak hours. This feature creates a much needed balance in energy usage that's required to spread the electricity usage evenly for 24 hours. After two years of obsessive research, studying, designing, and making prototypes, we finally created the plans for this complete system. So elegantly simple. Every American could quickly put one in their home. It's using half of the inch square solar cell as the power source, and the storage part is based on recycled laptop batteries, connected in an ingenious modular fashion, which allows adding more modules to the system as you build them. You can install this unit in any place you want. The best part is that you'll see immediate returns from the moment you connect it. It takes less than one day to build. The design is made to be simple so that newbies or the elderly would have no problem putting it together. The total construction cost is less than $250. Most people will be able to build one for less than $90 using parts they already have in their homes or can find at the local junkyard. Any pieces you do need to purchase are found by driving down the street to your local hardware store. You get access to the CPV cell supplier, which produces these particular units so that you can get started with your project immediately. It's entirely scalable. You can generate substantial savings. The storage unit is usually mounted on the outside walls, not taking any usable space at all. And the power generating module can be placed anywhere you like. It needs just a clear sky view and you're all set. We poured through hundreds of blueprints and made constant improvements to them until we were 100% positive that this is a 100% safe and clean device. You can see the savings right away on your meter. You don't need to have a science degree to make this happen. All you need is the will to build this project and to put it into function. But most important of all, you'll save enough money so you won't have to scream at your children to turn off lights when they leave the room, or shiver in the winters as your thermostat stays set at a frigid 65 degrees. That's what exactly happened to John Salinas from Tucson, Arizona, who writes, I'm still in shock at how well this works. I live in the hot, stinky desert, which is not exactly a Garden of Eden. I run two of these units and I was able to cut my bill entirely, and after I got the proper meter to sell the energy back into the grid, I started making $327.30 each month by running these units at 80%. I'm delighted with the results. And Alan Belding of Bozeman, Montana, who says, Five years ago, I would have called you crazy if you said the first day of the month would be one of my favorites. Now I look forward to it as a kid to Christmas. I live in an apartment, so I have limited space. At the beginning of every month, I get my check for $154, sometimes more. I use the money to take my wife and daughter out to a steak dinner. It's quickly becoming one of our favorite family traditions. Soon, I was sharing my blueprints with friends and family. I wanted to help liberate them from the tyranny of energy companies like General Electric, which is the parent company of almost every electric company in the U.S., making over $124 billion each year, the majority of it from preying on honest, hardworking Americans. But I also wanted to make dead sure that this was something anyone could build, no matter what their skill level or ability. The results kept pouring in, and I kept hearing over and over again that this worked. The best part is that people are building it in less than one day. I've heard from people like my cousin Ronald, a city boy who lives about 10 minutes outside of downtown Boston, that he built his system capable of handling his entire home in less than one day. I finally knew it was time to share my designs with you and other liberty-loving patriots who are tired of feeling enslaved to powerful and sinister criminal interests. So today, I'm making the Tyranny Liberator available to you. The Tyranny Liberator is a comprehensive system giving you everything you need to save on your power bill in a matter of days. You'll receive step-by-step -step video guides showing you in detail how to build your Tyranny Liberator setup from the ground up. It's like having a master craftsman in the room with you. Just watch what I do, copy me, and your device is built for you. 
you'll get a comprehensive materials list covering what you need and where you can get it. Remember, the majority of assembly pieces are either already in your yard or garage, or at a mouse click this very moment. Your total cost for construction is less than $250, and may well be under $100. You'll find out where you should build your Tyranny Liberator, and how one microscopic adjustment can double the amount of money it saves. I'll provide a copy of my blueprints too. You can then print out these illustrated instructions and keep them nearby while you're building. Anyone can build this! When I was making your blueprint, your materials lists, and your start to finish video guides, I pictured it was for someone who never kept a hammer in his hands. That meant it had to be so simple, so painless, that even he could build a Tyranny Liberator setup in a matter of hours. Imagine what it will be like to have the heater set to 77 degrees on a cold winter day, to have chicken cutlet baking in the oven, to run warm bath water for your daughter as she gets ready to go to bed. Even as others in your neighborhood are bundled together, wearing layer upon layer of clothing, seeing their breath in the frigid air as they try to sleep. My word is as strong as oak. All you have to do is follow the Tyranny Liberator video instructions and your step-by-step -step guide, and no matter what your age, physical condition, ability, or know-how, you'll be able to create your money-saving device, completely backing you up in case the grid fails, with enough money to not care about the big electricity cartels. So, how do you get started with your Tyranny Liberator? At this point, you likely realize how game-changing the Tyranny Liberator is. You probably also want to know how much you have to invest in getting the step-by-step -step video guides and blueprints, which will allow you to build it yourself. I can tell you right now that nothing else like this exists in the world. There are other money-saving solutions to be sure, but I have entirely reinvented it. I drastically reduced the building cost so those with limited resources can have one, making it 1000% more dependable than any other generator in existence. It's been designed to be easy to assemble from a handful of parts that cost under $250. There are alternatives, of course, but you already know they aren't real solutions. You could pay $5,000 to hire an installation company to put solar panels on your roof. It'll take them several weeks to do that, at over $60 per hour per person in added labor, making your actual cost closer to $10,000 or more. Or you could rely on a gasoline-powered generator. But to run your air conditioning or heat, your water heater, your electricity, your stove, and appliances, you're looking at somewhere around 10 gallons per day. So even if you somehow have a 20 gallon drum of gasoline sitting around your home, which is extremely dangerous by the way, you'd still only have power for two days. So please take a moment to think about the conversation we're having right now. Ultimately, your biggest concern isn't money. It's about keeping your family warm, fed, and protected. It's about being sure of their survival and of meeting their every need. This is about freedom. It's about turning the tables. It's becoming entirely self-reliant, not depending on the government or the corporations desperate to turn your family into a bunch of little numbers found at the bottom of a profit and loss sheet. It's having access to electricity at the right price. And it's about taking the step today that protects your family from that corporate greed for decades or even centuries to come. Also, as the price of gasoline and electricity continues to explode, you don't want to be sitting in front of your computer 10 years from now and suddenly remember this video. You don't want to have that moment where you realize that you could have become free of your grid dependence instead of struggling mightily to pay your $350, $750, or $1,050 power bill every month. But before I tell you how you can do that, let me ask you this. How much is it worth to you to save 67% on electricity bills for good? How much is $945 worth to you right now? I mean, think about it. Assuming your monthly bill is a modest $225 per month, and you could save $150 from it, over the last decade, you've given the energy companies $18,000. If you live in a larger home and your cost is $350 per month, the savings are a staggering $28,000. That's how much you'll be saving by using the Tyranny Liberator. The very first month I built and used my Tyranny Liberator, my power bill dropped from $413.16 per month to zero, actually making me a profit of a little under $100 using my smart meter. Even if I'm off, which over 12,000 people have made clear I'm not, what if you only cut your bill by 20%? If your monthly power bill is a low $150, you'll still save $360 in the next year, $3,600 over the coming decade. Enough to pay for a semester of college for one of your children or grandchildren at most state schools. Given that energy prices are rising, it's more likely that savings are much closer to $7,000. The possibilities once you watch Tyranny Liberator video guides are endless. There's no other guide out there that uses the principles and the technology that you'll learn from these videos.
The Tyranny Liberator program will show you step-by-step step how to build your silent power plant for under $200, saving thousands of dollars on those dreaded bills year in and out, starting from today. These savings will allow you to put that money into something more useful, take your family on a stunning vacation, or enjoy life the way you want to. I can easily take this material and turn it into an exclusive weekend seminar and charge $800 a seat with so many wealthy green energy enthusiasts out there, and I know it would be a no-brainer for many. But frankly, I'm a bit tired of seeing these rich guys on TV with their million-dollar setups and off-grid systems. They've already got more toys than they need. We started the Tyranny Liberator from the idea that energy independence should be something everyone can afford. Because the more self-reliant families there will be in America, the easier it's going to be to rebuild it to what it once was. So, I'm not going to ask you to invest $800 in this training, even though I know it's worth at least that. It won't cost you $500 either. It won't even cost you $247. Also, though my partner tells me that this should be the absolute minimum we should offer the training for because of the value it provides to the viewer, I said no. I am the one who found the plans, so I decided to do something that might sound a bit crazy. I'm going to set the price of the Tyranny Liberator at just $89, but only as long as this presentation is up. I will let you have the complete program for only $49.97 today. But the only way to secure your spot in the program is to click the order button now. Oh, and there's more. If you order the Tyranny Liberator program today, you'll also get a few exclusive bonuses that will later be off the table if you put this off. First, you'll get the Energy Multiplier Guide. It's a unique video guide that shows you how, with a small change in your design, you can make your system 200% more efficient than before. This device has many applications, and I'm sure that you'll find it very useful even when it's connected to regular batteries. Second, you'll get a video tutorial where you learn how easy it is to grow your biofuel, if you know what steps to follow, what algae you should plant, and what's the DIY solution. So you build this as fast and cheap as possible, then extract the fuel out of these plants. And third, you'll get a report about alternative energy sources. This special report lists the absolute essentials that many so-called energy enthusiasts never even consider. And you'll get it for free when you test the Tyranny Liberator Guide. I can't guarantee that I can keep this price for long, especially since we're giving 12 months of unlimited email support. So don't get mad if you come here in a few days and see the price is coming back up. The price doesn't even matter. That's because Michael Morris's no question asked money back guarantee covers you for two full months. Here's how this works. Just say maybe to the Tyranny Liberator program. If you ever watched a short video and you know how to follow simple instructions, then you already have all it takes to put this project together and get an endless supply of green and cheap electricity for your family. We've made this as newbie friendly as we could. You'll never feel stuck or like you're unsure what to do, or be left wondering if the modifications you've decided to make are safe or not. All it takes to have the step-by-step -step video guides, your full color building blueprint, and instructions, your materials list cheat sheet, and 12 months support is click that big add to cart button directly below this video. No doubt by now, you can feel the sense of excitement that's creeping from your bones, realizing that there's finally a real alternative to paying the power companies an 1125% markup on each kilowatt of energy you use. All that's standing between you and total independence is that big add to cart button right below. Break through the wall by clicking on it now and take what you deserve, what's your God-given right. Please enter your credit card or PayPal information in our secure payment processing form, which you'll find on the next page. Then you'll get the videos, blueprints, everything as an immediate download. Only three button clicks are standing between you and your freedom. I'll guarantee this changes your life forever. I realize that our economy is still reeling from Wall Street's greed and that we're all pinching pennies. I know that while investing $49.97 to save thousands is a winning proposition, every purchase you make needs to be weighed carefully. To make it easier for you to decide, I put my money where my mouth is by offering you a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you don't save money on your power bill or you're unsatisfied for any reason at all, you don't pay a dime. This is how it works. Just click the Add to Cart button below. You'll be following in the footsteps of the 12,367 other Americans who've already decided to build their Tyranny Liberators. Download your package, watch the video guides, print out your step-by-step -step instructions, go spend 30 minutes gathering up the materials. If at any point during the next 60 days you're unhappy, for some reason you don't save drastically on your next power bill, or even if you saved only 17% and wanted to keep more, send me an email and I'll refund your purchase immediately. No questions asked and no hassles given. Look, growing up in a small, rural community, I learned early on that a man's word was only as good as his actions. 
I know with utter conviction that the only reason I deserve your hard-earned money is if I've given you a product of total, overwhelmingly high value. And yes, I do feel pretty cocky with this guarantee too. I've seen firsthand thousands of people who are now getting checks for anywhere from $20 to $350 paid directly to them every single month. Plus, I've heard countless stories from those I've helped, all telling me how easy it is to build the Tyranny Liberator, how it only takes one day to make and that it costs less than $250 to build, how most of the parts can be found in the garage. All you have to do to get started is push the big shiny Add to Cart button below right now. Then you click Submit on the next page and hit Download on the page after that. That's it, and then it's yours, the key to saving 70% or more on electricity for life. But it would be best if you act now. Last time I discounted the price on the Tyranny Liberator, it crashed my entire website. I'm not making the same mistake twice. I've already said it so that after a small handful of people receive this special discount, the offer goes back up to $89. Ultimately though, the decision is yours. There are only three choices you can make. The first is not to act. The video is about to end, and then you'll be left staring at the screen. You could go after and try hard to forget about what you saw when your next power bill for $175 comes in the mail. And you can feel the guilt of knowing you're not genuinely doing everything in your power to provide for your family. The second is to try to build your Tyranny Liberator. You can get it working up to some extent, but without the proper guidance and access to the HCPV cell, I'm sorry, but you don't have a chance to get everything working correctly. Why bother looking for a solution when it's all here, right now? You can get immediate access for just a small investment of $49.97. This brings you to your third choice. Get Tyranny Liberator today at absolutely zero risks to you. Join the ranks of over 12,000 American families, over 30,000 people in total, and by tomorrow, you could be generating massive amounts of income with no maintenance required. You'll be one of a select group of people who will ever get Tyranny Liberator for such a low price and you'll be covered for a full two months by my 100% no questions asked money back guarantee. You'll have 12 months of access to 24-7 support, so you'll never feel frustrated if you have a question and need an answer. All you have to do is click the add to cart button below this letter and make a decision that has no downside and an upside of $20,000 or more in savings over the coming years. This video is ending in 30 seconds and the choice is yours. What you've seen today is about more than just saving money. It's more than forcing getting paid by those large corporations. Those parts are essential, but there's more to it than that. It's about providing for those you love, reclaiming what's yours as an American, the inalienable right of freedom. It's about not being a slave or being controlled and manipulated by profit-hungry monopolies and be able to hedge against both the rapidly rising cost of energy and the rapidly declining stability of U.S. society. It is your chance to be your own man, a leader who protects, defends, and keeps safe all the ones he cares for. Act now. This is your very last chance. Click the Add to Cart button right this moment and join the swelling ranks of U.S. patriots who've had enough of big government, big energy, and the lies they tell to keep both us and our money in their pockets. I look forward to hearing from you after you've built your very own Tyranny Liberator. Don't forget that after you've invested, you'll have access to my email address and that of the entire team. If you have any questions or want to share your own success story, please feel free to reach out to me right away. Thank you for watching this video. This has been Mike. You still there? I know that sometimes it can be scary to take that first step. Even though you'd love to be slashing your electricity bill by 70% or more on month one, you still have questions. To help you feel fully confident in your Tyranny Liberator investment, let me take a minute or two here to address the answer to some of the most common questions people ask. 1. How much will I save? The exact amount you save will depend on several factors, including how many modules you add to your system, the size of your home, and the amount of electricity you usually run in your home. Our average customer saves about $174 per month off their bill, though others with larger houses have saved significantly more. 2. How much money will my Tyranny Liberator produce? Just like above, the amount of money produced will depend on one factor, namely the size of your device and the contract you create with your power company to sell electricity back into the grid. It's more than possible to produce $50 per day with an extensive enough system. 3. How do I fuel my Tyranny Liberator? The coolest part about your Tyranny Liberator is that it's a hybrid. It works with solar power, and it also works with regular electricity straight from the grid, giving you full coverage. 4. What's the maintenance process? There is very little maintenance. You check the battery capacity every 2-3 to three years, and that's all. You'll see in the videos how simple it is to do that. 5. Will it work in the city? Yes, as long as you have a small place on the wall to install it, and perhaps a balcony to place the solar device. 
Six, is it hard to build? Not at all. When we were designing this, we made it so simple that anybody could build it on their own. There's very little physical labor, so even the elderly or those with a bad back or other ailments should have no problem making it. The average build time is about one weekend. Seven, what's included again? Inside, you'll get my comprehensive step-by-step -step video guide showing you exactly how to build your Tyranny Liberator setup. I've made these videos with an over-the-shoulder approach, so it's basically like I'm there in the room building it with you. You'll also get the system blueprints, full-color step-by-step directions, and the complete materials list. Plus, your purchase today comes with 12 months support. You can email my team or me anytime you have a question, and we'll promptly respond to you. Not to forget the fantastic bonuses which you'll be getting after completing the purchase. 8. How do I order? Click on the Add to Cart button you see below. You go to our 100% secure checkout page where you'll enter your payment information. After you've completed your order, you'll have access to my exclusive members only area where you can instantly stream or download the video guides along with the blueprints, instructions, and materials list. You'll also get access to all of my contact information from this page as well. Nine, is there a guarantee? Yes. Once you place your order, you have a full 60 days to pour through the videos, blueprints, and instructions and to build your Tyranny Liberator for yourself. If at any point you're unsatisfied or change your mind about this, send me an email and I will immediately refund your entire purchase, no questions asked.